All right, JJ Hat Center. This is it. Um, up on the catwalk here. We opened in 1911 in this area, uh, the Empire State Building area. We're at 310 Fifth Avenue, but we weren't always here. We were right around the corner. Um, about 30 years ago, we had to move. It became uh, Koreatown, so we got shoved over about a block. We're on Fifth Avenue. We used to be over on Broadway, like around the corner. Now that IBM's insignia is still here because this location was International Business Machine's first location. This is their uh, showroom, or it was their showroom. I have customers that said they used to come in here and you know, like get parts or bulbs or something like that with their dad. They remember that uh, IBM. They moved in here in 1922. Uh, we were already open since 1911 around the corner. We had a different name back then. It might have been Young's Hatters, I think. Anyway, yeah, IBM. There were more uh, reliefs and stuff like that. In the front, uh, I have something, uh, the four divisions of IBM. There's a sewing machine, a telegraph relief, a Dayton office, I think it's like Dayton office machine or office supplies, something like that and a, uh, a time clock, like a punch clock with four different insignias up in the front when you walk in. Um, this is the old Stetson uh, neon sign. Uh, when I first got here in 94, it was lit up red. Uh, we have a different one out front that's similar now. But, uh, yeah, that's a really old one. Um, I don't know how old this thing is, but it's super, super old. Um, be cool if we got it working again but that's just really expensive so one of our stock rooms many many stock rooms here there's a lot of stock rooms just tons and tons of boxes this one has mostly Stetson Westerns and stuff uh, Stetson Westerns Stetson belts uh, Stetson straw, dress hats, it's a small uh, stock room. You know, here's the ridge, I think. Got a western over here. This is the employee's room. We got our little coffee maker, character. We got the water, the microwave. Best boss in the world. She buys us junk food and stuff. She like buys it for us. Is that awesome or what? Um, computer stations up in the catwalk here. There's a catwalk that leads to the office. We do some photographing there. We order things sometimes in their office. Pay bills. Fifth Avenue is out that window. Well, the second window through that hole. Yeah. That IBM thing here, in the detail. Ceiling. Stetson sign here. So uh, also a box for Monte Cristo Panama. There's a ship under there. I never noticed that. Under the IBM is a ship. This is one of these copper cones that they use to make felt. The felt process, felt making process. You know, they put the fur felt in there. It becomes kind of like a big triangle cone shaped hood thing. It's pretty cool. It's like a copper. Real heavy. Yeah. The old Stetson facility in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. It's actually like a small city. I don't know how it could have been this big. You look at the size of like cars in comparison to these buildings. 
or like entire city blocks. That's the Stetson factory. Um, it's huge. It's a great old picture. This is definitely a turn of the century. It's a rear radio that kind of has a speaker the size of a Neko wafer, but it's uh, really strong. I think you could just like slap it and it starts working. Oh, we don't need music now anyway, do we? It's pretty early, but let's keep it off. Fifth Avenue. This is a silk collapsible top hat. snap. That's awesome, right? These are the same top hats that uh, the presidents used to get inaugurated in, and you can, you know, flatten them against your chest. It's flat. They're called opera hats. There's a uh, little elastic X-shaped uh, straps underneath the seats at the Met, I think in the opera house, where you could put that little disc-shaped opera hat underneath your seat for storage. They come in these hexagon glass uh, boxes. Guy in Long Island who makes them. Kruger Top Hats or Top Hats of America. He's the only guy who makes them pretty much. Maybe Lock of London has them. They're really, really expensive there. Um, I mean, they're expensive here too, but yeah, you know, let's turn off the lights in the office. Don't want to burn unnecessary energy. It's the old windows to the IBM space here. I just thought it would make cool stained glass. If we did them stained glass, that would be cool, right? Maybe some light behind them. All right. Let's go check out some more secret dark corners of JJ Hat Center. I mean, this space is here since 1922. That is pretty cool. All right, the steamer's right here. So it's custom made. We made this when we moved in here. Could be from the old space, actually. I don't know that. But, uh, yeah. The water's now boiling. There is a hot water boiler underneath there. Same kind that, like, you know, heats your house and stuff. But just a little smaller, maybe. Not much, though. It's pretty, pretty big. So we fill water in there. Gallons of water. And it sucks the water up and steams it out. Um... I guess we could hook it up to like a water line, but we just never needed to. That's the pedal steamer. Pedal. Stretcher. This thing uh, is made by a company called Garv. G-A-R-V-E. You could find these on eBay. Some of them heat up, plug in. I prefer not really heating mine. I like to use steam instead of uh, the dry electric heat and it also has a little needle that tells you how big you're stretching to. Super old. This thing is so old. And look at this construction. This is the initial machine. Again, very old. You uh, you punch holes kind of like sky riding. It makes you know like dot 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 for an end, you know. Uh, etc. It even has an MC for like McDonald and McDowell and stuff. Um, that's to initial leather sweatbands. We do that here free. If you want that done, you bring in your leather sweatbanded hat and we'll just do it. That's my coffee that I got across the street at Best Friend. They're awesome. Every tenth one is free. And then you can order something really exotic like a ginger ginseng one with like extra shots of this and that. They're really awesome. We got the free one. Horsehair bands for hats, one beaded because they're very low right now. Uh, some of our repair services, brim binding, we do binding, brim cutting, we shape the brim, flanging, blocking, outer bands, inner sweat bands, leather bands, ribbon bands, cloth bands, uh, clean and reshape is free, stretching is free, talking to Kev is free, smiles totally free. Um, Wind cord, 
$15, hat lining $10, and some of our menu stuff. We do a lot of stuff that's free. Uh, I, I could stiffen your hat with hairspray for free, or the, you know, the hat, hat maker can do it the pro way and stuff and put it on blocks and everything. And some of our Panama is the end of the season. Some boulders. Everybody loves the boulder. Um, some ladies' hats. What's left of them? The uh, ladies' hats basically is not much now because uh, the season's going to be changing. So there's a few fascinators and like churchy looking cool hats and stuff. But basically, uh, three or four weeks from now, we'll be getting all the felt stuff. So we're kind of looking to get rid of these at this point. Um, I think that relief is here, that IBM relief, if you want to see it. Got uh, you know, like a sewing machine thing okay, over there. Uh, telegraph. There's a punch clock up there. Boy, it's hard to photograph. Punch clock, the old style computer punch clock. And Dayton office. It's a picture of the old IBM International Business. You can see the punch clock in the window there, that rounded thing. Those round things. Those are pre computer computers people used to punch into work and stuff. Um, Old Stetson catalogs. And we had derbies, Hamburgs, bowlers back then. Old Stetson catalog, real old from 1877. The old fireplace from IBM. Marble, Italian marble, and all that stuff. We used to keep our catalogs here, the paper catalogs, before the uh, internet thing hit. Another old Stetson catalog from, what year is this, from 1898? Very old. Some Stetson flat brims. Oh, I got that hat. That's called the uh, Tri-City. Some Westerns. Here's one of our cases here. There's the High Line, special beaver hat, 100% beaver, super thick from uh, Stetson, made just for JJ Hat Center. I think it comes free with a deck of cards, Stetson cards. I don't know if we still have the cards left, maybe. Awesome hat, 375, you'd expect like a thousand bucks or five, 600 for all beaver. And it's not thin, it's like three times as thick as all the other beaver hats. Uh, I highly suggest it if you're looking for something beaver, you know, just, you know, I want to jump into something that's all beaver. Um, okay, that's what she said, right? No, um, you wait till we have one of our sales, like on the holidays or something, before Labor Day, before Father's Day, and then you just grab one of these, 375 with like, you know, a big discount for the holidays. Uh, and so instead of paying five, six hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred, twelve hundred for beaver, you get like crazy deals, you know, like, I don't know to something. Um, this is a really old stand. Borsellino, I think, gave this to us or lent it to us. It's Italian. It's super old. Nice patina. Some flanges, hat blocks for the brims there. French berets, we keep them here. The Basque beret. We have the real freshwater pearls. You want to spend like lots of money. We've got the sequins, black Swarovski crystals, or just plain old berets. Um, I mean, retail of the Year Award, the, it's the workshop in here. All right, turn on the lights, the old workshop. This is where we make some hats here. Felt bodies, hats that are not hats yet, just the felt. Some hat blocks, these are crown blocks arranged by size. Some really strange shaped ones on top there. Yeah. 
ribbons. Old, ri old ribbons. I used to uh, make these drawers neat. And when I stopped neating them up, they got really sloppy. But there's basically all ribbons in here. Vintage stuff, if you like. Fades, you know, something patina with a nice old fade. The edges tend to be lighter, you know, on vintage ribbon. Some vintage, it turns peach and pink. Yeah. Like a $10 upcharge if you want to use vintage ribbon. For sale section, we always have a half price section. We have one or two left of a style, we just throw it up. So if you're a double extra large, an extra large, or a small, forget it. There's going to always be sale hats for you. Um, that's what we get stuck with, basically. All right, we're still close, so I'm not answering that phone. Um, sale hats, it's our packing table. Some orders getting ready. Probably just orders after we ship them Friday. Closed down, we had some extra orders. They threw them in boxes. They're ready to get packed. Taped up, shipped out. They'll go out Monday. So if you place an order, it goes out the same day. We don't hold on to it for even like a day. Super quick. So if you're in New York, you'll get it like next day or something. If you're in the tri-state area. If you're close by a few states away, you'll get it maybe two days or something. Yeah? So we're really, really quick. JJ Hat Center, your neighborhood hat shop. Since 1911, I'm such a cornball, I know. But um, somebody said they wanted to see like a mini tour or like, you know, the little recesses, you know. I don't know, we've got some buckets here. If you like fancy linen ones from Italy, or the old, you know, stick a toothpick in it and play a handball down at the playground, American type. We got those too. We got captain's hats in four colors, white, black, blue, and red. Okay, blue got sold yesterday, but we got one. We got some more there. Uh, baseball hats, not too many. Greek fishermen, we carry five colors in cotton, five colors in wool. We even have a few leather. We've got Sherlock Holmes, deer stalkers down at the bottom. We have a small vintage selection. Anybody know about a back bow? Back bows are awesome. That's when they put the bow in the back of a the hat. There's usually this little X made out of thread. You can kind of play the strings like a guitar. Back bows are just like a really desirable feature. Everybody loves it. What do you think? There's one. There's two. There's a close up of your back bow. See the X? The double back bow. people hate it. I say if you're going to get a custom band, somebody's going to make a band, do something cool, man. Get a back bow. Why get something, you know, normal? Get something faded, something super wide like this. Make your hat look vintage and more authentic, you know. Um, it's really up to you, but if you're going custom, I say why do a, you know, a black band? Make a back bow. They're awesome. There are some companies that make bows for us like this. Come on, that's totally custom. The arrow on top with the slant on the bottom. Nothing on this side. Oh no, there's a slant there. See, that's a real creative boat, right? This is Sisal. Sisal is one of the uh, most airy, lightest hats you can get. Anyway, time for work. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.